Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to say that deciding your Mia's best artifact set is kind of difficult and has many factors that are dependent on her weapon, her substats, her rotations, and her team comps, etc. Also, depending on which set you use, there are optimal rotations to maximize the DPS in a fixed time window. So I'm not really a numbers guy, but this video will simplify everything and show all the pros and cons to help you decide which set is right for you. So for all the tests, we're going to be using the same weapon, Thundering Pulse, C1, 986 Talents. These are the artifacts for my Shimanaba 4 piece. Flower, Feather, Science, Cup, Circlet. These are the artifacts for 2 piece Crimson, 2 piece Attack Percent. Flower, Feather, Science, Cup, Circlet. So before testing, I wanted both artifact sets to have as similar substats as possible. So on the left, we have the Shimanawa, on the right, we have the Crimson. The Crimson has slightly more crit damage, 20 more crit damage, and slightly more EM. And, but less ER than 4P Shimanawa. Uh, overall, I think the substats are quite similar, just the crit damage, but it's alright. Alright, we are going to be doing the test here at Masanori, the training dummy, and just do a normal attack sequence, the full attack sequence, and just see the damage. Alright, this is the team comp I'm going to be running, Yormiya official Zhong Li. And also, because since I am using the Thundering Pulse, the stacks have to be... I basically need to have three stacks for it to be a fair test for both artifact sets. So I basically need to have all off or at least energy less than 100%. With the 4 Pishim now, you, you lose 15 energy every time you press E. And with the Thundering Pulse, to make full use of it, I need to have Q... Use, basically. And I think the optimal way to do this is just use my supports. So Zhong Li E, official E. Uh, Yorimiya E and when Q comes up, use it. Just use it when it comes up. So we start with this. So, okay, Yorimiya loses her burst. Burst. That seems to be the optimal rotation. You can switch to your supports, all that. Okay, now on the two piece crimson, this rotation is a lot easier, and honestly, I think it's uh, just from previously testing, it seems like a better and easier rotation to pull off. So, so this is pretty simple. I'm gonna queue Yomiya first, and then yeah, use my supports and switch back to Yomiya, and then E. All, that's it. That's pretty much it. There's no condition, so we can just do this. All that. Okay, Yomiya E. There we go, got a crit there. And yeah. Okay, one thing I noticed immediately was that Shimnewa was hitting harder overall for the normal attacks. However, Two Piece Crimson was actually getting a bit more uh, overload damage. But then again, with the Crimson, I, had, I, I queued first, so the supports already got a 10% attack boot since the start. Whereas with the with the four P Shimanawa IQ like midway, actually towards the end like yeah it's right here towards the end. So gotta keep that in mind. But Crimson Witch did manage to phase the guy first, so I would say Crimson Witch actually wins this by a very small margin. But only because of the rotations, the rotation for the Crimson Witch was just better. Using your Mia's Q followed by her E will result in the optimal DPS and ensures that there is no wasted DPS. Using Q off cooldown and then using your Mia's E to generate energy for a Q is the best way. Before E cooldown is even over, you will have Q ready. So basically, there's better timings with this rotation. Also, your Mia's Q, which does not snapshot, will benefit from her Ascension 1 talent during her E. So basically, her Q procs will do more power damage as your Mia is using her E. Using E before Q makes full use of Yomiya's Ascension 4 talent, which can offer the rest of the party members up to 20% attack boost. This is good, however, Q will not benefit from her Ascension 1, because Q does not snapshot. Also, timings will be off compared to using the Q E DPS rotation. Your Q will be off cooldown in, in the middle of your second E, and in short, there's wasted DPS because you just can't use your Q off cooldown. So, knowing this, which artifact set actually works best with the Q E optimal rotation? Okay, I'm just gonna show you how bad this, how bad QE is with 4P Shimano. I'm running 4P Shimano right now. Okay, it's gonna get some energy. Okay, 
Okay, I got my burst. Okay. I'm gonna Q. Uh oh, I have no energy, but I can't press E yet because I don't have 15 energy yet. So I need to <laughs> I need to get that energy. Do I have 15 energy yet? No, I don't have 15 energy yet. Do I have it now? I think so. Okay, I did. I barely had it. You see that that little gap where you have to get energy for your E? It just kind of sucks. So as we saw just now with the four piece uh, Shimenawa, the Q E rotation will not work because after using Q, you have no energy, and you cannot E straight away until you have 50 energy to proc the four piece bonus, which is a 50% normal attack damage boost. This is just hard to do, and it's probably possible with like Electro MC and like a bunch of Favonis weapons, but it's just not practical. However, with the two-piece Crimson two-piece attack percent, since there is no energy cost, you can freely use the QE rotation. You can even use the free-to-play craftable Hamayumi bow with the EQ rotation, as you have 100% energy during your MSE. Four-piece Shimanao would be more suited to the EQ rotation if you have the Thundering Pulse, because if you E at 100% energy. You can get a Thundering Pulse third stack and generate particles for Q. Alright, just to summarize everything, uh, the Shimanawa 4-piece pros. It had the best normal attack damage, we saw it in the test, it was hitting the highest. It has a good synergy with the Thundering Pulse uh, third stack condition, and it also offers a different playstyle. However, this different playstyle can be a con because you have awkward rotations with bad timings, you can't E straight away after you Q. It's also really bad with the Hamayumi bow because every time you E, you lose 15 energy. And of course, you can't make use of the QE optimal rotation. Alright, a 2-piece Crimson, 2-piece attack percent is the pros. Well, basically, it's the best general use set. It's good for most situations in Genshin. It's used for comfortable and casual gaming as you don't have to worry about any conditions or passives and whatever. It's also easier to farm for because you can use existing pieces, you can use your two-piece glad pieces you've had since you started the game, or you can you know farm the new two-piece uh, Shimanawa if you get better stats for that, then use that. As for the cons, you are getting less DPS than the Shimanawa four-piece in a normal attack sequence or a short DPS time window. You're also forced to use Q with Thunder Pulse to maintain the three stacks. Oh yeah, for those of you guys wondering why I didn't include the four-piece Crimson, it's because, I don't know. Um, I think it's good, it's just not as good as the other two artifact sets. So uh, yep, there's some gameplay here, uh, it's decent. Uh, the pros is that you do more reaction damage, for sure. Your overloads will hit harder, your vaporize will hit harder. But in return, you're losing a lot of normal attack damage, so there's diminishing returns. It's still a viable set, use it if you have really good subsets for it. Alright guys, in conclusion, based on my own testing and from the detailed spreadsheet made by Zandi, link in the description. Um, for most situations in Genshin, the 2-piece Crimson and 2-piece Attack Percent is slightly better than the 4-piece Shimanawa. It is a flexible set that works better with team comps and more weapons. It is easier and feels better to play compared to the 4-piece Shimanawa and it seems like the 4-piece Shimanawa was intended by Mihoya to be the best in slot for Yomiya because I think we, me and many people also thought so where they wanted players to E and then Q but as we know now, Q and E is just better sustained DPS but then again, it just depends on your substats like over a 60 second DPS winner, both sets actually have very similar DPS I mean, just look at your account, look at your weapon, look at your playstyle, make your own conclusions. Use whichever has the best substance because both are great sets of Yormia. Even the Crimson Witch is a good set. So try to get a good balance of crit rate, crit damage, EM, attack percent, and a bit of ER. So hope this video helped and thanks for watching.